Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuide.com. Today we're doing a tutorial on the one you voted on, The Matrix Effect, in Pinnacle Studio Ultimate Collection HD. Let's get into it. First and foremost, you need the tripod when you do this. You need your whole thing to be very still. Secondly, you need to be standing still at the beginning before you start moving. And then when you're done moving at the end, you need to be standing still for a few seconds then. Very important to do that. I'll explain to you why in a little bit. So I got my timeline stretched all the way out right now. I'm going to go ahead and drag my footage into the timeline. You'll see that it's stretched all the way out. First thing I want to do is I want to get this to a position where my talent is standing still. So I'm going to move it forward to a position where the talent is still. And we're going to go right here. And why did I go there? Well, because I put it in a notepad. And you should too. You should use a notepad to tell exactly where you're doing all of your splits or your cuts. So that you can do it the same way exactly each time. And you'll see why in a little bit. So I want to split my clip here. And I want to delete the front end off. And then I want to go to a position where my talent is moving. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to split the clip. Now I don't have to split it. I could add a marker if I wanted to. But I'm just going to go ahead and split it there because it's my video and that's what I want to do. Okay. So I'm going to right click this portion of the clip and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to bring my timeline back down to make it easier to get where I want to be. And I'm going to paste it here. Then I'm going to drag it right underneath that portion of the clip. Now, I'm going to go ahead and stretch this back out again. All the way out so I have each frame. I'm going to right click this. I'm going to go to Open Effects Toolbox. I'm going to go to Studio RTFX and Picture in Picture. Click OK. And you'll see I have picture in picture here, but I need that to be full screen. So I'm going to go to full screen. Then I'm going to go to transparency and change it to 50. Hit enter and then close this up. Now this is going to render. What I also want to do though, before it is done, because it's going to take forever to render, is I want to go to the end of the clip and I want to go to a position where there's no movement. And either one of these, like I said, you need to be standing still at the end. So I'm going to go and I'm doing it this way because I did it frame by frame. I want to make sure it's precise. And so I have this right about here. So I'm going to control click both of them. I'm going to split and control click both of these and delete the end off. I'll go back to the beginning here and you'll see if you were to play this that now you actually have two guys moving around so we'll let this render for a few seconds and then we'll show you what you get when you're done with the first part of it matter of fact I still need to do one more thing I need to move this three frames in so I'm gonna move it to 108 now it's not gonna do any rendering because I've already done it a few times so now we'll be able to see exactly what it looks like so far. And now you'll see there's the matrix movement there. Now, some of you might be like, wow, that's great. That's all I need, but not me. I want to make sure that this has a few extra or at least one more extra person moving around. So it looks a little bit better. So what I would do is click make movie. And then I would create a file, save it to a location where the other clips are at, just so I can have them all in the same folder. I've already done that though. Lucky me. Haha. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is drag this back down and I'm gonna delete these out of here. And then I'm going to pull down the clip where I have the two together only. And you'll see once again, it's just two. Like I said, I want to make it have more. So I'm going to pull down the original clip again. And I'm going to go to the same spots where I was before. Which is why I said it's important for you to use a notepad. So I'm going to go 
eight in on this one. Let's stretch out my timeline first to make it a little bit easier. And I'm going to split that clip there. I'm gonna delete it. I'm gonna bring this back down again, just so I can scoot it over. I'm gonna drag my timeline all the way out again. And I'm gonna go 105 in. And then I'm going to Split that, and I'm going to delete that. Now, I know that the first time I went three frames in, which was 108, but I want to go three more frames in so that I see an extra individual. And now, if I play it, you know what? Not yet. I got one more step to do. I'm going to right-click this, go to Open Effects Toolbox again, Studio RTFX, Picture in Picture. Same thing, make it full screen. Go down to transparency again, make it 50. Hit enter, close that. And now if I play it, you'll see three instead of just the two. And of course, I want everything to end at the same place where the individual is standing still. So I will bring this here Split that clip and delete it. And now you'll see that when you play it from a position and you play it to the end, standing still at the end. Perfect. Now you just make your movie. That's it. You're done. Over. The Matrix Effect in Pinnacle Studio Ultimate Collection HD. Thanks for watching. Do me a favor. Asme un pa favor, por favor. Make sure you click on the thumb that's pointing up, the like thumb. Click on that. Let people know that you like this video. Let them know that this is great content and a great effect that you were able to use in your videos and also that you like videoeditingsoftwareguide.com. Secondly, don't forget to comment. Leave your comments, please. Comment on whatever you want. This effect, other effects, questions, whatever. Leave your comments. I always get back to you. I never leave you hanging, okay? And last, but of course not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.